Meanwhile, New Yorkers have long figuratively opened their doors to migrants, but even some of the biggest hearted of them have been shocked by the recent wave of crime by migrants in New York City. Some of it violent, like a woman dragged, and the 14 migrants working for a ring and stealing cell phones from people on the street. Only half of these organized crime figures have been arrested so far. So how to stop it? That's the big question. I would assume reporter Stefan Kim with our story tonight. He's at the 6-2 precinct in Brooklyn. Stefan. Well, Bill, cops say it was the largest robbery spree plaguing the city. Thieves on scooters snatching phones and purses out of women's hands. This morning, police say they raided a suspected safe house in the Bronx. Police say the suspects are migrants of Venezuela, about to be walked out in handcuffs out of the 49th precinct here any moment now. Take a look at this video released by the NYPD. Cops say what you're watching is a 52-year-old woman being violently dragged by thieves on a scooter after being mugged of her bag, her phone, her credit cards, keys, glasses, 60 bucks cash, and her ID. It happened last month in the Sheep's Head Bay section of Brooklyn. Right, we're here in the location in the Bronx. The NYPD overnight executing a search warrant in connection with the robberies. In recent months, a wave of migrant crime has washed over our city. But by no means do the individuals committing these crimes represent the vast number of people coming to New York to build a better life. They use social media platforms to organize and coordinate their thefts. This is how they operate. The leader of the crew, identified as Victor Parra, will blast out a message via WhatsApp that he is looking for phones. It was Parra's home at 2970 Bronx Park East that cops raided. Investigators say the scooter operator would make $100 while the snatcher would make three to 600. The phones were then brought to Parra's apartment where his tech guy would hack the phones, gaining access to victims' banking apps for fraudulent purchases in the U.S. and Central America. The phones were then sent to Colombia where they were wiped clean. Cops say they recovered 22 stolen phones this morning as well as victims' IDs. Five men were taken into custody, including the tech guy, linked to a pattern of at least 62 incidents of snatching on mopeds and scooters and on the transit system. Often the scooters and mopeds are stolen too. They're essentially ghost criminals. No criminal history, no photos, no cell phone, no social media. Sometimes we're even unclear on a name or a date of birth. And on top of that, these operations are extremely sophisticated. If they're found guilty and they do their time, they should be uh, deported. Their behavior is horrible. They need to deport them. Residents living in the building say crime in the area has recently gotten worse. My mom was always telling me, oh, you always lock the doors. Yeah. And like, even if you're just going downstairs and now that I find out this, it seems like my mom's always right. Now, in all, police arrested seven of the 14 crew members. Meanwhile, investigators are also looking into other patterns connected with this ring, including shoplifting, pickpocketing, and even human trafficking.